Hello, I welcome all of you in my channel. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe my channel. Uh, in this example, I will uh, solve uh, average and standard deviation of an example uh, by using Excel, mini tab, and manually. So this video will include all of the three processes. So uh, let me uh, 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 let me tell you the example. Let's consider eight observation data taken or collected from the prototype engine connectors. The eight observations are X1 is represented as the first observation 12.6, then 12.9, 13.4. 12.3, 13.6, and so on. Eight observations. I have entered all of the observations and, and then I sort them out in the Excel uh, using um, a sorting command. So then I will uh, find out the average. The formula of the average or mean for an ungrouped data is x bar is equal to submission. This sign is used for the submission, means sum of all. And then x uh, x means all of the observations. So and then n is the number of observation. So in order to find the mean, what we need we need sum of all the values and we need the number of the how many values are there. So first of all, uh, how we will uh, get that uh, how much the number of data or values are in uh, over um, sample. So I will use the command C O U N T. It's the count command in the Excel. And then I will select all of the observations. These are all the observations. Then close the parenthesis and then press enter. So there are eight observations in there. Then I will take the sum of all these. So in the Excel, I will use this command S U M sum. Okay. Then I will select all of these values and then I will close the bracket. Then hit press enter. The sum is 104. Okay, now uh, uh, now I will have I will find the average of uh, the pub data. So I can manually find out this average by using this formula that summation of x bar. So x bar is 108 divided by uh, number of uh, values. So this will be equal to 104 and then divided by this cell that is 8. So I will get 13. And now there is a shortcut in the uh, Excel in which for, from which uh, if we can find the average. So the f shortcut is average, okay, and average of all these values. Then close the brackets and then. so we are now studied that how we can find out the average uh, using Excel for a sample. Then the next step is how we can find out uh, the standard deviation. Okay, the so standard deviation tells us about the variation of the data from its mean value. That mean value is 13, and few of the data sets points are below 13, and few of them are uh, above 13. So, how much there is overall uh, standard deviation? So, standard deviation formula is that we will have to xi means individual value minus mu represents the average and n represents the uh, number of data points. So, in short, we will have to substitute over uh, subtract over uh, each value each observation from the mean so how we'll do it uh, we will uh, write here x first of all we'll write x minus you can say uh, i'll write mu okay so what we will do we will write is equal to then we will cl write click on this cell that is 12.3 minus Okay, then mu mu is represented in this cell. I I can select any one of these two, so I will select the bottom one. Okay, now uh, this upon click, okay, we will get the difference that the difference between these two are 12.3 minus 13 is minus 0.7. Got it, you people? Okay, now the second thing which I'm going to tell you that upon uh, dragging, uh, the whole of this subtraction will be done automatically, but uh, we will have to make this cell uh, uh, D16 as fixed, both row wise and column wise, because when we drag it down, these cell become downward and also the uh, this this uh, calculation become downward. Look at this. I am doing uh, for your knowledge that it will become incorrect if I am not going to uh, constant or fix my cell. Okay, I am going to drag it down just like this and then drag it down you will uh, see now that it will not get we will not get answers okay correctly because 12.6 12.6 12.6 12 because here downward it's all zero okay means look you can look at here that it's it is uh, subtracting um, d uh, 
it is representing c4 this c and 4 a uh, number of row from uh, d17 and d and 17 there is nothing in the d17 so what i will have to do what i will do like this that i will make this column uh, suffix by uh, by pressing the uh, f f4 button twice okay so like this i have uh, in my laptop i have uh, I pressed function and F4 key and it become a double dollar sign. Now uh, upon selecting this, now press the enter and then we will drag it down like this. All of the values change. Then as per the formula, I will take the square of all these values. Look at this is equal to square means that multiply this column with itself. Okay. So we will get all scared for all of the values then what's the next thing we will have to take the s this is summation sign we will have to take some of all these uh, answers and results so i will take some here so how we'll take a sum as probably as i did sum then select all these so i will get 1.6 okay so now what will we do we will calculate the uh, standard deviation so it will be the step one in the standard deviation okay so i will write here stan standard oh, sorry stan da standard and dev okay so what i will do uh, i will do uh, is equal to i will write the formula square root of okay square root of 1.6 and then divided by n n is 8 okay it is, in, it is written in this cell d13 and click okay so i will i have i got a 0 0.4472 okay i can also do this standard division um, in shortcut by using the formula okay and then the formula is standard division for the s s means um, you can say sample okay okay so uh, for the sample uh, i have i will do so i will write the formula here this will be equal to s t and standard deviation of uh, population i am assuming this is, this is my whole population okay the my production daily production is uh, eight uh, engine connectors so i will select all of these and then i will close the bracket okay so look at this we got a shortcut of the two methods of the standard deviation of, of for finding once uh, one of the method we can use the formula and the second method we can uh, use the command okay now i'm going to tell you a difference for the standard deviation between the sample and the population that is that in case of uh, standard deviation uh, for a sample there will be a, a subtraction of one from this and look uh, let me tell you the uh, formula for the sample so this is the standard deviation for a sample when one has been subtracted from the uh, number of uh, observations and its value will be quite different from uh, this population value how we can find it we can find s t and then we will select s standard deviation for the s okay so this is the formula and upon uh, doing this standard deviation for the if we assume that is a sample that has been collected from a lot from a very large number of uh, parts so then oh, look at this the value will be definitely change it is it will become 0 0.478 now i'm going to solve the same problem in the mini tab and and it is very easy and very a shortcut method to find the mean and standardization of the same data okay so what i will do i will go to stat then basic statistics display oh sorry basic statistics display descriptive statistics okay uh, I will have to yes my data is in C1 column with the heading prototype engine connectors I can do double click on it and it will become here variable or I can do single click on it it will get select and then uh, selecting uh, clicking on the select we will get or variable name here then I will click on the statistics okay so I am interested in finding the mean in finding the standard deviation fine okay so it's easy for us so I will say that I'm also interested in finding a minimum value maximum value uh, the range that is also a uh, measure of um, uh, variation in the data I will I'm interested in finding the uh, median also and in the variance so just on uh, selecting these terms i will click ok then click here ok look at this we got our results in a fraction of 
second okay so i will uh, i will got their mean equal to 13 standard deviation 0.4 summary it, it the data uh, it uh, the software assumed this data as a sample so we got a standard deviation that is equal to a, a standard deviation of a sample we got variance minimum of the status 12.3 look at this maximum is 13 points so look at this value and the range range is the difference between a uh, largest value and the smallest value median is also a uh, mirror of central tendency that divides the data into two halves half of the data is above 13 and half the data is below 13 okay uh, you uh, so this was all about uh, in mini tab now i will move uh, to manually solve this question okay uh, i'm now solving this example uh, in the now i will solve this problem uh, manually okay so what i will do i will draw a line then i will write each and every observation like this uh, i can say 12.6 plus second observation 12.9 plus 13.4 plus so keep it on i will write three dots and i will write this last two uh, values 12.6 plus 13.1 and then uh, divided by 8 okay when i will do the uh, sum of all these observation i will get i will get here 1 0 4 and then all of the observation are 8 and it will become if you solve it calculator so we got our mean equal to 30 okay so we got our mean equal to 30 now well, i will calculate the uh, standard deviation of this data and i will do it for sample i assume that the values are less than 30 so we'll assume as uh, standard deviation so what i will do i will write here uh, first of all i will write the all of the numbers so i have written all of the numbers then uh, then i will uh, do but what i will do i will subtract each and every number means 12.6 minus from this uh, mean value okay that's 13 so i will subtract from 13 then I will write the second value 12.9 minus 13 and so on. I will write all of these values that are to be subtracted uh, from their uh, uh, from their uh, mean value. And after that, I will write uh, how much we got. Uh, we got um, C minus 0 0.4, then minus 0 0.1. Same is the case. I got 0 0.4. So I will take the thus i in the same case i will minus or subtract each and every value okay and these are the results now i'm going to what i'm going to do i'm going to take the square of all these values x minus minus mu and this whole square means i will take the square of all these uh, values so i will get uh, 0 0.16 0 0.01 again uh, 0 0.16 same six. I will repeat this. I will take a square of all these values and I will get 0 0.16 and 0 0.01. Then I will do the summation of all these. Means I will take the sum of all these uh, values and by taking this, so I got uh, 1.6 here. Now for for the standard deviation formula, what I will do? I will do right here uh, in the formula that was shown in the. Uh, last uh, slide and also I'm going to write it here divided by n minus 1 okay so the so standard deviation is equal to summation of all these so I will write here uh, 1.6 divided by 8 values minus 1 and it will give us the value uh, 0 0.4 and 0 0.478 and if I'm going to do, uh, calculate the variance, variance is very easy. Uh, I will just take the scale of 0.478 or I will just take the scale of the standard deviation. Okay, and thus we will get the variance value. This will be equal to, uh, variance is equal to uh, 0 0.250. So I hope first, uh, you got uh, clear that how we can calculate the mean and standard deviation in Excel uh, by using formulas or by using the commands then in the mini tab as well as in the manually. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, write in the comments. My uh, WhatsApp number and my email has also been provided and uh, you can uh, contact me on uh, via WhatsApp or email. Please subscribe, subscribe my channel, like my video and do the comments. I will reply as soon as possible. Thanks a lot for watching my video. Bye bye.